Well, hello there. Um, so we're going to be making, uh, we're going to be using Flash CS3 to make a moving button. When you click the button, it's going to move. I'm just going to show you a quick demo of what we're going to be making. So we're just in Firefox right now. We have a button, and every time we click it, it moves uh, 20 pixels to the right. So that, that's going to be our project for the day. So I'm just going to close Firefox here and go up into Flash. So I'm going to start, uh, I guess, probably by clicking on Flash and going uh, Command N uh, to open a new or uh, Control N on Windows. And we're going to choose a Flash file, Action Script 3.0. And we're going to click OK. So this gives us new untitled five. We should probably start by saving it. File, uh, save as, or command uh, S. So then why don't we call this the moving button in Flash Tutorials, save. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is in the components, you can go window uh, where's components? Compo uh, somewhere in here. There it is. Uh, you can click that and it will show your components panel. So this is kind of all of the pre-made things that are already made for you in Flash. So we'll choose the button and we'll just drag it onto the stage. So there's our button. Uh, if we go down, if we click the first frame, uh, and then our act, go down to our actions panel, which we can also get by going here. Actions, that'll show it. Uh, so we want to kind of add some code to the button to make it uh, do stuff. And we want to add it in the first frame. Uh, first, we need to name the button, though. So if we click the button and go to the button properties, and we give it an instant name of, I don't know, why don't we call it my button okay so then we want to go back to the actions and say I guess we have to click on the frame first and say my button dot add event listen -er. listen -er. okay so an event listener is basically just uh, it detects when you, when, uh, hmm. Okay, so if we click on this button, it will release an event, and it's a mouse event dot click dot C L. There we are. So when you click that button, it releases an event, and it's a click event. Uh, and when that happens, we want it to call our move me function. So we go function move me e uh, mouse mouse event. And we want it to return nothing. Okay, so the syntax for functions in Flash is you have to write function so that Flash knows it's a function. The name of the function, uh, any parameters. Uh, when you use add event listener, it uh, will call this function, but you need to give it event because it passes the event uh, to move me, and we want it to return nothing or void. So whenever this button is clicked, we want to move it 20 pixels to the left. So we need to say my button, uh, the same as right there, dot x equals my button dot x plus 20. Okay, so we'll save that by pressing uh, control save or command save if you're on the Mac. And then we'll press uh, command enter or control enter, depending on what platform you are on. So, getting this 
page, which means that I made a compile error. Uh, type was not found. Oh, so uh, I think we need an import statement uh, because it, it doesn't recognize the mouse event. So we need import. Uh, I can never remember what this is. Uh, luckily, if we go into window, or actually, we better close that first and then go help, flash help. And if we click that, it'll bring up flash help, which is uh, the most amazing resource in the entire world. Uh, if you go to using flash, it has some great, great, great instructions on just kind of basic stuff that you need to get started. Then the programming action script 3 is also very, very good. Uh, the thing that you'll use mostly once you get started is the all classes. It has all classes and all of their methods and basically all of your tools for Flash are in the all classes. But you'll probably need to go to, through the using Flash and programming first before you can uh, really understand what this means. Uh, so here I have the class mouse event uh, and it's in the package flash.events. So back up here I want to import flash dot events dot mouse event and semicolon okay so if we save that and try and play it again ah oh, we're still getting an error so if we double click this it'll tell us the line huh Type was not found or not mouse. Oh, oops. I, uh, we put motion event instead of mouse event. Meant to put mouse event there. There we go. That worked. So I saved that one more time and then played it. So now if we click on label, it will jump uh, 10 pix 20 pixels uh, to the right. So maybe that's not quite enough. So if we close that window, and we can change this to uh, how about 65? Add a semicolon. Play it. That seems like a bit more, but maybe we want to make it go even more. So why don't we try? Why don't we try 100 pixels? So now if we click it. Oh, those are big jumps. That's that's perfect. That's just what I was trying to do. Uh, so that that basically wraps it up. Uh, in my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make all of this dynamically, just using code. I I personally like to do things like that because I think it's uh, it's much easier to reuse your work. And if you wanted to create kind of a button here and a button here and a button here and a button here and a button here. Uh, it'd be really easy after you do it once to just redo it over again. It would probably take like two extra lines of code and you can have like a billion buttons if you want. Uh, so I think that wraps up the tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching.